Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, if you remember in our last video, we, we installed uh, SQL Server 22 uh, on uh, on Windows Server uh, and we have finished the, the installation process, but obviously there are a couple of configuration steps which are uh, pending. And in, uh, in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna finish the whole dev environment, which will uh, give you a very good understanding how you can set up the 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 dev environment uh, on your machine uh, because most of the the uh, use cases especially from the poc perspective or, or i would say sandbox uh, they won't work in the in the cloud environment because cloud give you a very uh, minimum environment uh, with with least resources which is obviously good for for the uh, for the uh, uh, small use cases but if you really want to test some capabilities uh, you need a proper environment where you can increase or decrease the resources uh, and it can help you to to uh, execute the de those experiments. Uh, so in this video, we're going to take the next step. I'm going to first show you where we left uh, as part of the, the, the installation uh, of SQL Server 22 uh, on, on the Windows Server. Uh, so uh, I think we finished up to installation uh, of, of uh, SQL Server tool, SSDT. And if I come in here, I open the management studio. So you're gonna see it will uh, come up in a moment. So we have the management studio version uh, 19.1. And considering it's my dev machine, so it's gonna be a bit slow compared to the general dev environment, which is fine. Uh, so you can see, yeah, we have our server name we connect our agent is disabled let me start my agent as well just for for the sake of completion or or uh, ensuring everything has been properly installed and configured yeah we have everything up and running dw configuration what it is i'm going to discuss in in the in the later episodes but you can see the the environment is up and running and in the uh, next couple of episodes we're gonna restore some sample databases so we can work on 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 the uh, on the the projects that we are targeting as part of uh, uh, this tutorial so uh, which is good like uh, i can and even you know what i can do let me just create one database just for the sake of uh, testing and completion and i'm going to call it dev ag and generally we have a practice uh and you can uh follow the practice of your or uh, or organization we uh, uh keep some prefix uh, which uh, mention uh, 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 the the organization name and then we have the database and then we have the uh, the instance type like which environment or environment type which environment we are working on so i'm going to call it uh, governance and we'll see how we can build the the the, the governance framework uh, uh, using the the sql server right so and uh, like you can see we have the the dev uh, as a suffix so it's going to tell us that yeah we are working with the uh, the dev database so very uh, important and strongly recommended that you guys follow this practice while you are working in in your organization many times we have seen that if uh, it hasn't been uh, properly uh, 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 managed sometime because the people have multiple uh, databases connect in the in the management studio so sometimes they mistakenly make changes in the in the in the production or, or UAT instances but if you have the uh, if you have the uh, uh prefix or any any indicator as part of your database at least it will tell you that yeah you are uh, you are in the in the right environment so i'm not going to change the default parameter except that i'm going to assign the size here yeah, instead of you know uh initial size uh, of 8 uh, mb I'm going to allocate one gig as part of an in a, instead of allocating a fixed chunk, uh, I'm going to allocate in person. So once the the data pages uh, uh, are filled, uh, the the server is gonna allocate another uh, ten percent of the total space, which is obviously if I'm allocating one. Uh, 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 
uh, one uh, 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 gigabyte, uh, it will allocate uh, 10 MB because I'm just allocating 10 uh, 10 percent of it, right? So thousand of 10, sorry, 100 gig, so 100 MB. So every time the pages are filled, it's going to allocate 100 MB to the to the database, so it can continue its work. Uh, uh, generally, people kept this uh, uh, option unlimited, very uh, uh, vulnerable, uh, especially in the production environment, because by selecting it, you are letting database know that consume as much space as you can. So most of the time uh, it happened that the if the data uh, disk is not properly washed or monitored, uh, uh, the database is going to consume all the space. And sometimes we come in the morning and we realize the database is down. And uh, guess what? The whole disk was consumed by the data file. So if you have a proper uh, disk monitoring system, then you can let this option. But if not, it's better to, to use the, the limited option option because that will secure your drive instead of you know uh, 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 consuming everything because it's really difficult to if you have a physical disk to add uh, uh, additional disk and then attach the uh, the data file to get your database working it's not a nice experience so it's always better to properly manage these settings just to make sure you have a better administration of of your databases so let me see if, how about if i can just say yeah uh, because i have allocated 1024 and my guess my database is not going to uh, increase from more than 10 gigs so i just allocate 1024 uh, zero, which is equivalent uh, MB, which is equivalent to 10 gig. You, uh, if you don't understand these calculations, please uh, 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 go to internet and any any calculator will help you to to convert the uh, the the uh, the size from one unit to to a higher unit or uh, from higher unit to lower unit. All right. So let me hit OK. We are all good. Uh, log is fine. We are not going. I'm not going to change the log. But in the production environment, obviously the log settings are going always going to be different uh, because that's a dev instance. I'm not talking about the production one. Let me come to the options. Uh, yeah, uh, recovery model because it's a it's a uh, it's the uh, dev instance. So I'm not going to to uh, keep everything in, in my transaction log so I can recover the database, I'm fine. But generally with the production environment, you never ever uh, go with, with the with the simple option with your OLTP database, right? And if you don't understand the OLTP and OLAP, I think I've already recorded a video. I'm gonna put the link and you can uh, watch that video uh, to understand the difference between OLTP and OLAP, right? So right now we are just creating the uh, OLTP uh, database, which is more like the the operational database uh, let me put in a simple uh, 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 business term uh, what it does it just help you uh, you and support you in your day to day operation whatever you are working on right or all app is completely different that's where the historical data comes into the picture and we build the build the uh, uh, i would say historical system or analytic system right so simple collation i'm going to keep default compatibility level right now you can see the compatibility level has been set to SQL Server 2022. What I'll do, I'll just uh, downgrade it up to, let's see how about if I can just select 2019. So what's going to happen, uh, my uh, database will support the 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 uh, the version uh, up to sql server 2019 like i can restore the 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 database backup which is uh, taken from from sql server 29 version right and then containment type here we are not uh, discussing containment at the moment there are a bunch of settings that we can set uh, like auto string auto st uh, update statistic which are part of the the management of the database uh, not going to discuss in this uh, 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 in this uh, 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 video, but they are all very useful, and I, I'll see in future if I have some time, so I can go through with with these options. So once you have select all these file groups, obviously we have a primary file group. We can add more file group if we need to. Uh, scatter the the load or or scatter the 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 data pages just to improve the efficiency. Uh, but generally, uh, with uh, I have seen that with with the primary uh, uh, file group, most of the database work. But obviously, if you have a uh, I would say a really big uh, uh, infrastructure or your databases are in high demand or you are expecting really high volume of transaction, then definitely the separating 
uh, a separation of the transaction or data pages on multiple uh, 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 file groups gonna help you a lot in improving the performance. So uh, and now the important thing, once you select all these options, you have two options, you can click OK and it's gonna create the database. The other one, which I would strongly recommend that you always look at because that will really help you to understand the code language, which is obviously, uh, which is, uh, uh, SQL or uh, in Microsoft case it's T-SQL because that will help you to gain the knowledge of the script, script, uh, scripting of your database and that that's really powerful because once you know this, the, the scripting you can really manage uh, the databases from command prompt you don't need the interfaces and that that's a very unique skill uh, 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 and you know I think in the data and analytics where SQL is still the top uh, now skill which is in demand from from the modern enterprises. Let me hit uh, uh, the script uh, button and guess what? It's gonna create the whole script. And just to show you the capabilities, so whatever option we have selected, the, the database engine has generated uh, the SQL script based on uh, those uh, uh, on those uh, options that we have selected. And uh, it's pretty simple. If you have a, a generic understanding of, of the SQL server, you can see uh, the, the options are self-explanatory. Uh, uh, like we are, uh, what we are doing, we are creating uh, 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 AG governance uh, Devins uh, database, uh, which has two, two data files. One is going to be the data file which contain the actual data the other one is going to be log file and let me quickly show you we have selected the initial size is going to be uh now uh, that that's pretty tricky uh, because it's showing you the size in KB, but on the on the interface we selected in uh, MBs, right? So, but if you calculate uh, if you uh, translate it into or if you convert it into into MBs, you're gonna find the similar figure and uh, obviously same in here uh, you can see uh, the the max size which we have uh, selected at 10 gig uh, it is coming into KB again the same pattern and five growth you can see it's a 10 percent instead of a, a static chunk of the 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 uh, size on on the uh, uh, disk right so the rest are all the options that I've shown you that they are default option that we can select. So we just left them uh, uh, with default. So I think we are in a in a pretty good shape. Don't, uh, don't worry about this squiggly red line. Uh, they're gonna disappear uh, once the database has been created because let me quickly tell you why uh, the, the, the system is complaining because at the moment the database doesn't uh, exist. So it's trying to identify, okay, the compiler behind the scene trying to identify where that database Base and it's unable to identify. That's why I actually put that that uh, uh, red line underneath just to uh, warn you that, okay, I'm trying to search your database, but it doesn't exist on the server. But once this database is gonna create it, uh, we will see that this uh, squiggly line uh, will disappear. There's a small bug I'm gonna discuss afterward. Uh, sometime it, the, the red line uh, doesn't uh, uh, disappear automatically, but I'm gonna give you a key that will disappear this line. It's more like the refresh the in, uh, internal cache of the management studio that will bring the changes across. All right. So I think we are pretty good with, with all these options. Let me hit execute and we'll see if we are able to create our first database. And like I mentioned, it's going to be uh, OLTP or operational database. Uh, you can see the database has been created because I can see a command completed successfully, but, and I also can see the squiggly lines were gone, which is good. So, but there is something not right on the left hand side i can't see the database appearing in 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 uh in the uh left tree so uh, always remember once you create new objects they won't appear until unless you refresh the 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 node right it's not like auto refresh it's going to detect the changes maybe behind the scene the the object has been created all successfully like i can see the method uh, in 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 here but it might be possible that uh, the 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 objects won't appear on on the uh, on the uh, the uh, left hand side so just do the right click and you have uh, option uh, f uh, uh, refresh or you can press f5 if you want to refresh uh, through the keyboard hit refresh and lo and behold we have our database created awesome 
So that that's how simple uh, uh, to to create a database within within the Microsoft SQL Server. And now this database has been created in the in the SQL Server 2022 version. Uh, it has all the capabilities. We can create tables, view external resources, synonym uh, program uh, programmability has stored procedure function, all the core objects of any database that is required to uh, to work with the uh, the data uh, 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 related uh, application. So that that's a uh, quick overview that how we can create the the database uh, using the SQL Server 2022. Now uh, just remember we only have the SQL Server Management Studio installed. We still need to add a couple of uh, capabilities on this server. And the very first one uh, that we need to do is to configure our master data services which we know generally call mds what uh, which will help us to to manage the the reference data and and the master data uh using the sql server technology and someone asked me in the in the other video that if they don't have the the enterprise license so i can at least show you how you can manage the same uh same capability using the custom uh database because behind the scene the database is uh, uh the the mds uh, or master data services using the database uh, structure that will adhere the 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 data governance principle that includes management of the reference data or or the master data so if you don't have uh, uh enterprise license we can still generate the same capabilities obviously we need to build some custom development uh to to achieve it and we're gonna see how we can easily do it right so uh i hope this video is helpful just refresh in your mind uh, the concept of of the databases or, or the uh, or the work that we have produced uh, a while ago. Uh, now we're gonna continue and gonna finish every, the whole environment, and then we'll build uh, our uh, couple of interesting projects on 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 that environment. So feel free to reach out if you have any comment or question. Uh, otherwise, please like or subscribe the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.